What is up YouTube? I'm kind of gonna do like three things right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing, gonna do a two week update and a bit of a pocket dump um, for this day. I'm trying to catch up with you guys. It is the 14th of November. I'm at that almost the halfway mark of this 30 day carry challenge and I haven't really uploaded any content so I feel bad. But the contest, like the, the content challenge is going very well. Um, with this right here. This is the Monterey Bay Knives Sea Otter. I've been carrying it for 30 days the entire month of November. Not really going to carry any other blades. Um, but before I get into a little bit of that, let's talk about my carry for this week is going to be the Paradrop Triari F with a uh, belt clip, which is really nice. I've actually been carrying this in a very unique way. Um, shoot, I'm carrying it in my front pocket with the clip out or I'll carry it in my coat pocket with the clip out so that way it's latched and I can still reach things in. It's getting very cold here in Lubbock, Texas. I think tomorrow's low is like 21 degrees. We might get our first freeze tomorrow or into the evening. So yeah, that's good stuff and I'm just trying to keep up with some good content with you guys. So yeah, this thing has been really, really nice. I got it, um, let's see, you know, on a Thursday. No, on a Friday. Yeah, on a Thursday. Shipped it out on a Friday. My friend was able to get his on Saturday. So, yeah. Good thing right here. This is uh, Steve over at Paradrop. Go follow him. And, and I hope you guys can grab something like this yourselves. Um, let's do a little bit of cardboard cutting with this baby. So this is just an old priority mailbox that I have um, laying around here in the garage. And we're just going to do some, some cutting. All right. There's that. It's very nice, man. It's just hard to follow through all of these cuts. I'm going to make a mess here in my garage. But this thing is very nice. It's in magnet cut steel. It is not in 154 CM. It's got a very nice edge. It holds its edge for a very long time. So, yeah. The uh, thumb studs, I thought were going to get in the way of a lot of these processing cuts, but it's not. So, yeah. yeah, it's got a nice good edge. I put a 20 degree edge on it with the Work Sharp Precision Adjust Sharpener. I have the uh, Elite version, so yeah. It's a really, really good knife. I like it a lot, but I did want to upload this. So you guys know that I am using this thing. This is a very high dollar knife. It's a $400 knife. So let's get some use with it, right? Um, other than that, I've been doing a lot of uh, Christmas lights and I don't really need it for that. We've been um, on campus. We're unearthing a lot. Of, we did unearth a lot of Colorado vine weed. It's like a type of shrub. So I haven't really needed it. We've been using a lot of equipment. We've been using a backhoe and hauling it off in dump trucks. And so I haven't really needed to use my pocket knife. And this happens to me a lot. But the main reason for carrying a pocket knife is to have it when you need it, um, not use it every single day. I try to um, every now and then, but my son's birthday was just this last weekend. So I opened up a couple of his toys, some tape, some zip ties. That was about it. So showing you guys that this little knife really works very, very well. I really love um, Stasa 23's video on, on, on the, here's a tape. I really liked his video on this, so that's why I'm trying to emulate some of it. So that way you guys know more or less what it looks like being used. So yeah, uh, see, kind of went up there and then, yeah, it's a nice knife. I really like it. Maybe at the end of the month, I'll uh, upload a sharpening video. So you guys really know how I try to sharpen my, my knives, but just a really good knife. Perfect for EDC, perfect for boxes, perfect for... Uh, rope was a little rough with it last month whenever I was doing the um, homecoming parade. Cutting rope with this was a, was a bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, starting to get a little dull on me. But it's that silica inside the cardboard that pulls out a knife very, very quickly. Oh, see, I just kind of tore the box instead. So there you go, guys. That's how well it works, and that's just on a piece of cardboard. Uh, I have a leather strop. It's if it's not in here, then ah, oh, there it is. Cool. I have a leather linen strop that you see at a barber shop. Um, I can strop it right now. But yeah, 
So that's that's how that's been going, and I really appreciate this knife. It's got a nice hollow grind. It's American made, uh, titanium scales, very small, kind of ergonomic. I would say that one of the hangups that I have right now is getting it out of the pocket, and then right here, this part right here, kind of just goes into this part and it's just kind of a little uncomfortable it's a small hot spot not a big one nothing to cry home about um i'm still going to keep the knife almost forever we'll see until they come out with the tonto blade shape then i think i'm going to keep this one forever um in the pocket this little crotch right here the uh, relief cutout uh does get caught sometimes whenever you're pulling it out of your pocket so you kind of got to be a little bit of a chingasso with it or you got to wear thin jeans which i don't do every single day let's see yeah that's it I want to get into an unboxing as well. I might actually upload that in the next video. But yeah, here's an update on the uh, Monterey Bay Knives Sea Otter Carry. I uh, haven't been able to use it a lot, but I was glad to be able to demonstrate some cardboard processing. Cardboard processing is not something that I do um, just because I don't really do it. And I just kind of break down a cardboard box put it in the uh, recycling bin and that's pretty much it for us here in Lubbock, Texas. We don't have to do anything super special with our recyclables and stuff like that. We have uh, cardboard recycling and that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, I think that's really all I can do. I could probably try to find some sort of paper, but I am in my garage, so hopefully. Oh. Yeah. We'll do one more paper cut test and see how it does. It's not going to be perfect. So, yeah, this has been. Oh, that's nice. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm, I'm cutting a little quick. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Excellent. So, yeah, still paper cut and sharp. That was a great demonstration. I'm really glad that worked out. I didn't even hit it with the straw. Right on. All right, y'all. Y'all be good. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you have a very wonderful rest of your day.